This is Fan First Network. That's 10 draws so far out of 18 matches. Uh, tell me your thoughts. I'm pissed, man. I'm pissed. The goal today was terrible. I don't know how I couldn't save that. I have like kids that play Timbit soccer that I coach that could have saved that ball today. Should have won that game. 100% should have won that game. It felt like a FIFA match when you're playing Ultimate Team. You know, you have the better of your opponent, and then a stupid little mistake ruins it. Uh, you know what, though? Sean Johnson played amazing. Uh, he played good in the back there today. He's one of the solid pieces that we have in this team, and, you know, he had a little slip-up, but what can you do, you know? How much money this team fucking spends on these players? This man can't get good fucking gloves to catch the ball. How the fuck do you let a ball go right through your hands? Catch the fucking ball. The thing is, yeah, our striker is not bad. However, he's not trying to score goals. Like, he likes to facilitate every time. But when you're playing deep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? But we need a striker who comes in who wants to score banging goals still. Because that's what we're missing. I thought it was really close. I thought we put up a really good fight against Nashville considering they're second in the table. Uh, I just wish we saw a little bit more engagement from the number nine role. I, I love CJ, but I just wish we created more chances with him. Mac, Mark Anthony K. I see this man on the field. There's a reason you're not on the Canadian national roster, okay? You got fucking giraffe legs, boy. You got Dalmatian fucking legs. Mark Anthony K completely sucks. Wow. Please get him off the starting lineup. I'd rather Bradley. I'd rather oh, we play a man short, but he stinks. He sucks. Bob Bradley, listen to me. My name is Federico Tavares. I play striker for Jovi Sanz. You need me. You need me, bro. Sign me up. I promise you, Messi's in my pack. I put him in the blonde. Who is that guy? Fuck Messi, Ronaldo on top, Suey bro, that's it. The Insigne goal, absolutely amazing. It's like he decided, oh man, you know, let's go back to Euro 2020. Do you guys think Bob Bradley should stay on as the coach? No, Bradley needs to go. It's time. It's really time, Bradley. Past time. Oh, Past Bradley. time. You've done well, it's time to go brother. Sayonara, goodbye. I think they should change their coaching. We need a we need a European who knows who knows what he's doing, who knows his fucking shit. We need a fucking European. Bring Pirlo, bring Pirlo <laughs> to Toronto. Just sign, just sign That's me. Sign me, you, sign you, me. You, you, yeah. Sign me. Bob Bradley. Bob Bradley needs to get the fuck out. Yeah, get Say out. fuck Bob Bradley. Fuck Bradley. Bob Bradley. Bob Bradley. Get out of here. Richie Larea's contract expires at the end of this month. He could go back to Nottingham Forest, try his hand, maybe making a Premier League side. Should we keep him? And if we don't, what do we do? Oh, 100% keep him. I, I don't think we'll sign him back permanently. If we can extend that loan until the end of the season, I would be delighted. If we don't get him, I, I'm scared. Better resign that guy. Yo, resign him. Resign him because, yo, he's crucial, bro. bro. If he leaves, we're fucked, basically. Yo, but at the same time, I believe in, like, um, Kobe Franklin. We need we to keep him, fam. For real. You see what he did today? Today was Center massive. back. But, bro, he was massive today. He was the only one in the team playing well, playing with heart. So if we lose him, it's going to be tough still. The way he plays is the way I want to see the boys play each and every game. So if, I, if he leaves, if, he, if his contract expires, if it doesn't get extended, detrimental to the team, man. We, we should try to do everything we can. He's one of our only players actually showing passion on the field right now. So we should try to retain him at all costs. He can't go back to Nottingham Forest. Please, no. I think he should stay. He's a great asset to the team, but honestly, you have to do what's best for you at the end of the day. So I feel like he'll go back to like Nottingham Forest. What about for us, though? What happens then to us? <laughs> the rest, call the season off. So Messi is coming to MLS, yeah. and if we play like that, we're going to get blown out 9 nothing. You're at Packers. You're at Packers. You're at Packers for sure. Senior and Bernadeschi better pull up their socks. <laughs> He's going to do insane. He's going to do really good. I mean, Messi, obviously, is such a complete player. He can do so much on his own, but I feel like with the structure that Inner Miami has right now, I feel like they need to build that attack. I feel like Quarantine Jean and some of those players aren't going to be enough for him. I feel like he needs more support. This is the best part about the game. Did they give that to you free at the end? Yeah, that's the best part about the game. It's been a horrible day already watching Man City win the Champions League. Three to one, by the way. Any Man City fan, three to one with 20 Prem titles. Get to our level first before you're able to say that you're the Kings of Manchester. Anyways, that's not the point. This is Fan First Network. When you come to a Toronto FC game, stop wearing other clubs' jerseys. Stop Yo. being a fucking wanker. Support the hometown club. 
Do not wear a Man City jersey or a Santos jersey or any type of team. You come here, you wear a Toronto FC jersey. If you go to a Leafs game, you're not going to watch the Leafs versus Philadelphia and wear a San Jose Sharks jersey. You're wearing a Leafs jersey. So oh, come to the club and wear this. Go to Walmart. They sell the cheap shirts for 20 bucks. Invest in one. Stop wearing other teams' fucking jerseys.